very exciting guest. This is Bruce. He is one of the design engineers of our air conditioners and he's here all the way from Australia. So Bruce, can you go ahead and tell us a little bit about the design behind our air conditioners? Sure, Lindsay. Uh, so what you're looking at here is the A3800. Uh, this unit was originally designed by a little company uh, in Adelaide, Australia called Air Command Australia. Uh, that was started by my father uh, in 1978. So what you're looking at here is uh, three or four decades of experience in uh, air conditioning in the Australian Outback. So why don't we go ahead and take this cover off and look into the features on the inside? Absolutely. So can you tell us a little bit about what we are looking at up here? Sure. Okay, so uh, inside this box we've got the microcontroller and that takes care of all of the functions, all of the uh, uh, defrost, de-ice, uh, timers, all that kind of thing that all happens in there. Next up here we've got a, uh, a vertical compressor and down here we've got the reversing valve which is that, that device that allows it to operate both as a cooler and a heat pump that okay. turns the whole thing around. Finally, over here, we've got, uh, we've got a very large, uh, generous condenser coil. And then under the polystyrene here, we've got the, uh, got the evaporator coil and the inside fan. Can you go into a little bit more detail about what the heat pump does and how that works? Okay, so when, when that reversing valve is, is switched around, uh, this outside coil becomes cold. Okay. And it's actually sucking heat from the, uh, from the outside air and delivering it to the inside coil, which becomes hot and giving you hot air. So you mentioned that the AC is a quiet AC. So how does that work? How does this AC be the quietest, have the quieter decibels compared to our competitors? Okay, so there, there's two main sources of noise. So the first one is from the compressor. And you can see that our, our compressor is, is loosely mounted. It's actually mounted on, on springs. And uh, if you just leave it on springs, it'll wobble around the place. So we've got a, a retaining pin there to make sure it doesn't go too far. So by putting it on, on springs, we're making sure that the noise from the compressor doesn't go to the base of the air conditioner and doesn't go into the roof of the van. Second source of noise is, uh, is the fans. And what we've done is we've put, uh, put a lot of effort into making sure that the fans are operating uh, in their most efficient band. So they're moving a lot of air, but they're doing it quietly. Oh, okay. So you said there is, you said multiple fans. So there's two fans in this AC? Yeah. So there's the inside fan and the outside fan. Inside fan is a, a familiar forward curve centrifugal or a squirrel, squirrel cage fan. Okay. And then at the back, we've got a, a large axial fan. And the two fans operate uh, independently. Um, so when one's on, uh, the other one can be off and that further reduces noise levels. Okay, well, I don't know if you guys can tell, but today it is very hot out. And I'm kind of wondering if we installed this AC up here on our unit, would it keep us cool on days like today? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, you've got plenty of capacity with this unit. Uh, and we've been able to do that by making sure that we've got very you know, generous condenser coils at the back. Um, we've got plenty of air going through them uh, via the axial fan and you know, we've seen this unit perform really well even in hot conditions in the Australian Outback. Okay. Well, I think that might be all the questions I have for you. Let's go ahead and put the cover back on this AC. a little bit more about the decibels that this unit puts off? Sure, um, high fan cooling, you'd expect to see about uh, 64 to 65 decibels of DBA at one meter or three feet. Um, yeah, which is appreciably quieter than uh, lots of other units. Okay, that's super cool. And we have some units that come with a heat pump. Can you explain how the heat pump works? Yeah, sure. Well. When you're operating this in, in cooling, what you're doing is you're pumping heat from inside the RV to the outside. This unit has got a thing called a reversing valve. It turns the refrigeration system around 
And when you need heat, what it does is it actually pumps heat from outside to the inside. So it gives you heating in uh, moderately cold conditions. Um, doesn't perform so well when you go below freezing. But above that, it's a great and efficient way to uh, heat your van. Okay. Um, what does the maintenance look like with these air conditioners? Very low maintenance. So typically you wouldn't have to do any maintenance on the outside unit. On the inside unit though, there's return air filters that you should take out regularly and clean them. So if you're running them continuously, maybe look at them once a week. And if you can see lint building up on them, uh, give them a wash in uh, uh, soapy water, tap them out, pop them back in. Um, so I've read that these don't require a soft start device. Can you kind of explain what a soft start device is and why this doesn't need it? Sure. Um, soft start device is a, it's an electronic device that um, modulates the voltage going to the compressor. Now, if you've got uh, a very big compressor that needs a really big starting current, uh, that can cause problems for generators, uh, smaller generators and inverters. Uh, so typically this unit, if you've got a good generator or a good mains power supply, typically you wouldn't need a soft start. Okay. And do you have any installation tips for this AC? Yes, yeah, there's plenty of them. Um, so uh, you know, make sure that your, your roof is strong, uh, boarded up. So around the 14 inch hole, make sure it's really strong. Um, clean, clean the top surface so that you can uh, get good adhesion of the gasket and um, what else would I say? Oh, uh, when, you're, when you're putting all the, the plastic work in, um, you're able to cut little holes away to make sure that the electrical cables can pass through smoothly. Apart from that, it's pretty straightforward. We've designed it with the DIY in mind, so it's easy to install. Well, thank you for joining us and telling us all about our AC and if you guys like this video please drop a like down below and while you're down there feel free to comment and subscribe and remember when you're rolling down the road roll with Rec Pro.